Video number two. Netanyahu's hidden intentions for what is going to happen with the Gazans. Now, there's an interesting story for you guys here. So there's a guy, I'm gonna botch his name, I apologize. His name is Mir Ben Shabbat. Now, he was the national security advisor for Netanyahu. Pretty prominent guy. Somebody that you might like him or hate him. Somebody that you might be interested in knowing what he has to say. Now, he's currently the head of Mezgov Institute, which is a think tank. I apologize if I butch that. Mezgov Institute, think tank, he's the head of it. Why is this relevant in any way, shape, or form? Why is this relevant to us as Americans? Well, because he actually said the quiet part out loud. I would consider him maybe to be a passive, low-key whistleblower, particularly to us in the States, almost kind of to warn us about what we're actually about to see Israel do and how that's going to affect our probability of getting into a war. So what did he say? Well, this is according to The Intercept, and then I'm going to switch to some Israeli sources. So the think tank released a report honestly exposing Netanyahu's strategy, quote, there is currently a unique and rare opportunity to evacuate the entire Gaza Strip. Another quote, there is no doubt that in order for this plan to be enacted, many conditions need to exist in parallel. At the moment, these conditions exist, and it is unclear when such an opportunity will arise again, if at all. So what is the question is, what are they going to do with these Palestinians? And what is crazy is that I'm sure nobody's even heard of this story before, which is why I wanted to talk about it. So the idea is to send them to Egypt, pay Egypt to house its former inhabitants, the Palestinians, in order to currently empty apartments near Cairo. So they're trying to buy off the Egyptian government to move Palestinians. It's kind of funny because whenever we learn about these things, there's always a debate about ethnic cleansing. And uh, I was listening to the group that you guys might have heard of called Breaking Points, and there's a kind of a debate. Is it ethnic cleansing or is it not? My perception, based off of kind of my own studies into ethnic cleansing, is ethnic cleansing does happen whether it is intentional or not, whether the primary objective is to clear out Palestinians or to remove Palestinians, well, to kill them, point blankly. And ethnic cleansing is the clearing out of a space of an individual group. So... If Egypt doesn't accept these individuals and they die as a result, it's ethnic cleansing. Right now, if Egypt is saying that they're not willing to take them, which is the current Egyptian stance, which might change, if they're saying that they're not willing to take these individuals, they're probably going to die. And the Egyptian government at this moment said that they are willing to let hundreds of thousands of folks die. He's, they're talking about the, the Palestinians. They're willing to let them die before letting them in. And Israel is trying to forgive all of their international debt, essentially, is the idea. Which, by the way, is probably going to be the U.S. taxpayers that are going to be paying that off as well. So these are hidden intentions. Now, what's really interesting about this is that Netanyahu actually, res he actually responded to this type of critique. <laughs> so what did he say? Netanyahu admitted this plan and said that it was essentially a hypothetical. Netanyahu said, oh yeah, this was a plan, this is legit, but it's just a hypothetical. Well, then what's the first plan? Because so far, you guys have floated an idea of creating some sort of an island to put these individuals, throwing them into refugee camps in the Sinai Peninsula. Wait, who controls Sinai Peninsula? That is the, uh, who controls that right now? That is the Egyptian government. Put them in Cairo. That is the Egyptian government. Why do I think that the Egyptian government might take some of these individuals? They have a military government that is bought off by the United States, who dropped billions of dollars for them. So if we have Netanyahu who's trying to clear all of them out, and at the same time, in the first video, this, this might be the second video, in the first video I was just stating how Netanyahu essentially wants to uh, permanently occupy the Gazan Strip, which they don't have the forces, so they need the US to jump in, and now we have the mass exodus. Now all we need to know is what specifically happened the last time there's an exodus to understand what might happen this time as well. And that's what the next video is going to go over. But I think as Americans, we have to accept the fact whether we are going to be okay with another ethnic cleansing on our hands or not. I don't see a lot of people fighting back. 